Since I became familiar with modern transmissions, I've always wondered if there was a way to design one with less moving parts, less clutches, less bearings, and so on. Over the past year, I've started to realize that I'm not the only person that has this goal in mind. There are tons of people who wonder the exact same thing. Is it possible to improve upon the modern automatic transmission? Well, I believe the answer is yes and no. You see, for the machines that I've come up with, there's always been more downsides than benefits. And that's not to say that this solution is any better, but in certain applications, this style of transmission could really shine. And with that, allow me to introduce you to the Vancor transmission number two. This is a really, really interesting transmission design that was patented by Dale Van Core in 2002, and it was modeled and printed by yours truly. Uh, the thing is, this transmission can do something that almost no other transmissions do. It changes its output ratio by literally disengaging the teeth from one gear while sliding up the next gear. Let me show you this. So it disengages the first gear. Goes into a transition stage. and under power changes the ratio from one stage to the next. It, it's really impressive how it works. This means that this transmission can not only change gears completely without a clutch, but if yours truly would have designed it correctly, it would have been capable of changing gears completely on the fly. Wait, have you guys seen this t-shirt yet? I, I mean, just to, you know, check it out. Pretty nice. period and then one to one ratio and then transition period and then this would be uh, like first gear this would be like second gear Kind of like one to one and then this transition and this would be like overdrive so now that i've got you all hyped up about this design and how it could be the next big thing it's time to reveal some challenges that will need to be overcome before a design like this could be used in a product and there are a couple of them so number one you can't just shift the gears whenever you want to. The transmission would need to be electronically or mechanically controlled in a manner that would prevent you from shifting when the gears are not in the correct orientation to do so. And number two, losing absolute position of either member, either due to mechanical or electrical failure, is almost sure to cause complete destruction of this design in such a spectacular way. So this is the catastrophic failure that I was referring to. I messed up shifting this thing. I shifted it at the wrong time. The pinion gear skipped a couple teeth on here. Now, there's no way to fix this without taking it apart. From what I understand, anyways. I, I think I messed it up. So here's the proof right here that I screwed it up. I've got timing marks on here. These two dots should be able to line up those two dots. And no matter which way I turn it, right here it gets pretty close, but there's no way that that would ever line up. So I gotta skip some teeth to get it to, to line back up again. And now it should work again. The same can be said for mechanical failure of the shifting pinion or a bad firmware update destroying an entire fleet of vehicles. It's really just a vulnerability inherent to this design. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Hey, you can always buy a nice little Gear Don't For What t-shirt. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Before I go, I should mention that last week I posted a contest type thing on Twitter to where whoever could figure out this picture 
would get a mention on the channel, and Ali from Potent Printables actually figured it out. I was really surprised, it wasn't an easy thing to guess, and he somehow searched the internet and found it. And I was really impressed, so go check out his channel, he's making some really cool uh, folding robot walking thing that can like fold up and, and uh, crawl under a door or whatnot, you guys should really check it out.